Good morning. It is Tuesday, December 8th. It's 735 in the morning and you can see from the weather forecast that it's pretty nippy here for Central Florida. 42 degrees forecast at 8 a.m. I think it was 39 at 7 a.m. Sunny, relatively cold with the northwest wind. That keeps me in the house doing some work. So we're going to take a look. We're going to go to Capture One and take a look at some of the American white pelican flapping images, including the one on the blog post, the, the thinking exercise. Folks did quite well there. So we're going to go to full screen. Better enjoy the pictures. First one in a series. Actually, this is a partial series. About half of the images were deleted because of poor wing positions. So I was working hard to get close to this bird, close enough to get a single bird. And I just focused on his eye with tracking flexible spot expand, I believe, or possibly tracking flexible spot. Do check out the Sony e-guide if you own a Sony camera. Just the different wing positions here. The underwing is nicely lit. The near underwing nicely lit. Here, not so much. A sort of interesting pose. Some may like it. The orchestra pose with both wings angled forward and a nice parallel line here with the bill and a space, no merge between the near wing and the bill. Variation, nicer. I love the, uh, the near underwing, perfectly lit. Another flap. And let me see where we are here if we hit escape. Yeah, this is the one I published on the blog. And if you notice, as we go from here to here, I'm sorry, this is the last one in the series. Now, if you look at the numbers, 56, then one deleted to 58, and then a keeper, three keepers in a row, then one deleted, then 61, then three or four deleted to get to 67, one deleted, 69. Picking out my favorite wing position, 70 was my favorite of the series, though I wish that this wing were raised and still maintained the perfect lighting. This little gear here shows that it's been converted in Capture One. And the last one in the series was not a, was a keeper, but not one that I chose to optimize. This is actually take two. And for take one, I shut mail and forgot to do it here so that annoying window wouldn't, wouldn't pop up. Anyway, so this is the keeper. The best one, see how the rings, wings raise nicely? Yet I was wishing it was ra were raised more fully. Then the next one, these are the raws. And you'll notice that when we go to the, to the optimized image, that there's a change in the blue. It looks more naturally blue. This blue has a cyan cast, sort of yellowish cyan. In Capture One, I do that with the Advanced Color Editor by, we'd have to go here, clicking on the blue, expand this a little bit, this way, pull it a little, a little into the blue, and then playing with the saturation, and specifically lightness, and maybe messing with the hue a tiny bit, towards blue. So it takes some experimenting. There we go. Compare that with the next one. Yeah, we have we have not quite the blue that we have here in this one. So it takes some work and some practice. But fun to play with the advanced color wheel. Now we go from here to here. And this is the same frame. So you go, geez, how the heck did you do that? Well, that's the subject of the blog post, so take a peek on down and learn the trick that I learned or learn about how to learn the trick I learned from Alan Murphy. So this was actually our best day, one of the very best days of the trip, November 14th. And I think I'm going to do another, another vlog here soon and go over a second edit, see what you can learn from that. So have a great day. Enjoy Topaz. Enjoy Roy Digger. Ah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to...
Take a close look at one of these images in Raw Digger. Here we go. And these numbers up here and this histogram, option H, show that this is a pretty perfect exposure with Sony. And that's all possible with zebras and ISO on the rear dial. So be well. I'm having tremendous fun with my Canon R5, and I'm 99% sure that I'm going to buy one, and a 100 to 500 RF. If you want to grab one, get in touch with Steve Elkins on the blog at Bedford's Camera. He's shipping out a bunch this week. Love you much. Thanks for watching.